Hello everyone, and welcome to my channel again. In this tutorial, I will show you how to prevent specific computers and mobile devices from obtaining an IP address via DHCP using MAC address filters. This is a powerful way to control which devices can access your network. By applying MAC address filters, you can thus prevent unauthorized devices from connecting while ensuring that only authorized devices get an IP address. Let's learn how to do this step by step. Open the DHCP management console on the server and under IP version 4, select the scope you have already configured. When clicking on address pool, we now have the range of IP addresses that the DHCP server will distribute to the connected devices on the network from IP address 10.0.50 to 200. And when clicking on address leases, I have only one device that has obtained an IP through DHCP and the IP address is 50. Expand the tabs to see the status of the filter profile. Here the status of the filter profile is none, meaning that any device can take an IP from DHCP, whether a computer or a mobile phone, and thus DHCP is considered to distribute IP addresses to devices without any restrictions or filters. I will now move to the client computer that has a lease for the IP address, and by opening the network card to check the IP, and by clicking on the details, you will find that it has already obtained an address from DHCP. The most important thing now is to know the MAC address of this client so that you can block it or allow him to get an IP from the DHCP server. After knowing MAC address of the computer that you want to prevent from getting an IP address from DHCP, go back to the DHCP management console again. Under the IP version 4, Navigate to filters on the left side, you now have two options, which are allow and deny. Before anything, enable them by right-clicking on each of them and select enable. I think the matter is clear to you now. If you want to allow the client to get an IP from DHCP, you will add the MAC address to the allow list. And if you want to prevent the client from getting an IP, you will add the MAC address to the deny list. I will block this client from getting an IP from DHCP. So right click on deny and click on new filters. Now add the client's MAC address to the blocked list and click OK. After adding the MAC address in the deny list, click on address leases and delete the computer that got the IP so that it is prevented from getting any IP from now on. I will go to the client computer again and disable the network card and enable it again to check whether it will reserve an IP address from DHCP or not. It was actually prevented or blocked from obtaining an IP address from the DHCP server, but now the IP address has been reserved from the route because DHCP is open on my router and the IP has been obtained but in the range that my router distributes. If my router does not distribute DHCP, then this computer will reserve a fake IP, or as it is called, API-IPA. By returning to the DHCP management console, I will delete the MAC address from the deny list and add it to the allow list. So right click on allow and select new filter and enter the MAC address and click the add button, which means that the DHCP server will reserve an IP address for this computer again because we allowed it to do so. In the same way, disable and enable the network card so that you can verify the reservation of the IP address from the DHCP server again. And indeed the IP address was obtained from the DHCP server directly. By returning to the server and right-clicking on Allow, you can move the entire list to Deny at once if you want to. This method is very important for managing networks in institutions and companies because it enables you to use MAC address filters in DHCP to prevent or allow specific computers and mobile devices to obtain an IP address, and thus you can enhance the security of your network and prevent unauthorized access and ensure that only approved devices are connected. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.